after Irma. Damage estimates continue climbing for people. And in St. John's County, an historic church, they only know that the bill for repair is going to be big, but they can't determine yet exactly how much they're going to need. Memorial Presbyterian Church. It's an iconic part of the St. Augustine ancient city skyline. And if it's ever going to look the same, members of the 127-year-old church need help from the community. Tourists stop and take pictures, and they take tours in the sanctuary. It is not only a historical treasure for the people who call this place their spiritual home, but it is a historical treasure for our entire city. Hunter Camp is the pastor here at Memorial Presbyterian Church, a church commissioned and built by Henry Flagler in the late 19th century. He built the church in honor of his daughter, Jenny Louise Benedict, who happened to die in childbirth and they were quite close. The church has been through hurricanes before, but Irma left marks, like the cross toppled atop the Copper Dome. The cross is about 25 feet tall, and with the crashing of the cross onto the dome, there are now gashes in the dome where it's possible that we have seepage. Pastor Camp says Spanish tile is in disarray, thrown off the roof in some places. Also, a spire flew off and hit the north side tile roof. Plus, the church had flooding in the storm, all of which adds up. But just how much is a mystery so far? And that means financial and emotional strain. The fact remains, though, that there are certain parts of the storm, um, certain parts of the damage that we feel pretty certain the insurance will not cover. So we are... It is. It's 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 exceptionally difficult. Uh, very very hard. Camp wants people to know what's happening so they can help. He also expects faith to be rewarded. Our church will lean on God during this time, trusting that God will provide, and I have no doubt that that will happen. No doubt whatsoever. Well, I asked why the church doesn't have a specific dollar amount, and Pastor Camp pointed out that where the cross fell blocks access to the dome by the ladder that's there. That means they're going to need a crane to come in just to really, truly assess what the damage is. And just a, a little while ago, Pastor Camp updated me that an historic architect and engineer viewed the dome today today and they suggest that there is serious damage to the integrity of the dome so it's not going to be a simple patch job if you want to contribute you can contact the church you can go to their web page we've also got that information in our article on newsforjacks.com